They are there to meet and inspire the next generation of leading scientists from around the globe. From the South African delegation, we are joined by two young scientists that are going to be attending, Loyando Noto and Swimelele Nglovu. Good to have both of you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Lillian. How excited are both of you to be going to such a prestigious event? Uh, um, <laughs> I, I'm not sure I, I <laughs> You're both speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. I can tell. It, it's mm. difficult to, to describe it. Um, you're going to get... Um, a huge thing it's like um, you're getting a glimpse into your future for that moment and yeah. then you come back into being yourself so uh, uh, there are no words to describe how we feel inside what we're extremely excited and what an amazing opportunity i mean this this opportunity um wh what do you think it's going to do for you i think it will inspire us more like with, with what we are doing with our our current projects because meeting nobel laureates it's it's another thing like I can't even think straight with me being there. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I remember that in when I grew up, I never imagined myself meeting a Nobel laureate, like a single Nobel laureate. Yeah. But in the meeting, we'll meet about 31 Nobel laureates. Oh, my gosh. And they're all physicists. So I think it's... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it's it. Like a dream. It's a dream come true. Yeah. That's what it is. All right. But let's, we know how great they are, but let's focus on how great you guys are. Because, I mean, you wouldn't be going there if you were just, you know, just your average person. You've got to be pretty excellent to get to a place like this. So let's, let's focus on, on what it is that you're going to be sh showcasing. So, Luyanda, you've got something called luminescence physics. I'm being told it's light without electricity. Um, talk to me about this. What is, what is this development? Uh, lum luminescence is light emission. Right. Um, this is the light we get from our television screens, um, the cell phone screens. For me to be able to see the, the human being, maybe suppose an image or any other thing um, from your TV, that's a material called the phosphor. It gives you light when it's radiated. Now we are extending that. Um, we have a if it from your cell phone. Um, you just excite it, then after that it goes out. Now we want to extend this to um, an emission that will last for several minutes to several hours. Now, this will enable us to load it using the sunlight, and after that we can put it back inside our homes, and then it will continue to give us light. We can use this material as a basis without electrical connections. It's amazing. It that sounds absolutely fantastic. How did you come about all of this? I mean, where, where, where did your sort of science and development start? Um, it started from my um, brothers and his friends. Um, they would talk about science and they would fascinate me about all these things which engage science. Then um, after my metric, I decided that I'm going to join um, a university and continue in science. Then I joined um, University of the Free State. This is where I trained from my BSc to my PhD, which I finished in 2014. Yeah. And from there onwards, we've been working on this persistent luminous material under the guidance of Professor Hendrik Swart. And since then, I've been continuing on this. I'm passionate about it. And I think I'm going to continue on it throughout. I think you best, especially on a platform that you've been given. I mean, this is fantastic. Okay, uh, Swimmer Malela, let's talk about you. You um, are a geomatic engineer. Um, <laughs> I'm going to sound intelligent because I'm just going to read the piece of paper here. Okay. I'm not going to fool anybody. So it says that we see it all around us. We are altering our geographic environment for our benefit. Uh, talk to me about this. What, what, what is it all about? Uh, to, to just correct it, it's a geodetic. Geo? Geodesy. It's oh. geodesy, which geodesy. is the, the study of the size and shape of Earth. So you, we use different techniques to, to study Earth. So yeah. what we do is, uh, at Hatrao, where I'm currently based, based with my PhD, we, we've got different techniques to measure how F uh, behaves or how F changes. Like for instance, we also have uh, a new technique that we busy, uh, with, we're busy developing, which is called lunar laser ranging. So that's where uh, I fall in. Because uh, what, what we do with lunar laser ranging is we measure the distance between Earth and the moon by the use of lasers. So we use your normal telescope, like, but bigger. So we use, light, we use the telescope to send light to the moon to yeah. the retroreflectors on the moon, which are mirrors that were left during the Apollo missions and uh, the Russian missions. That's incredible. So we send light to there and then we wait for the light to come back to us. And yeah. the distance between Earth and the moon is about 384,000 kilometers. So that distance can be measured using lights because we, we've got the speed of light. We, we've got 
time so we can be able to determine the distance between Earth and the Moon. So the reason why we're doing this, we're trying to measure the, the, the correlation between the gravity that is exerted by Moon on Earth and the gravity that is exerted by Earth on the Moon. Because you know that you've heard about um, tides, like ocean tides, yes. where the oceans, they rise and fall yeah. because of gravity from the Moon. Guys, you're amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to pretend I understood every single word you both <laughs> said, uh, just for my own benefit. But listen, I wish you the best of luck going there. 25th is when you leave. Um, I hope you, you meet everybody you dream of meeting. Being amongst 31 Nobel laureates in your field, have a fantastic time and do our country proud. Thanks so much for talking to us. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so these two incredible guys joining our South African delegation, going down to the German town of Landau, Luyan Donoto and Supomalela uh, Ndlovu. They are scientists doing incredible things here in South Africa. Let's take a break. We've got some music for you after this. Stay tuned.